Okay. So we're on Ayin Tess, Ahmed Aleph, Shabbos 79. Rava Omar, the Kula Amma Moida Bishtar Shiksavot Shiksarachim. Really, there's no machlokas. Everybody holds that even if the love, the borrower, agrees that, the, that this was a loan that I that was made, and the star is okay, it's not enough for the love to just admit to it. It requires certification in Besden where they call the witnesses in to confirm that indeed the loan was made. So what's the machlokas between the chacham and Rabbi Yehuda? There is a machlokas whether or not when a loan is repaid, so when a loan is made, so the lender, the malva, holds on to the star and then produces the star against the lova and Bezdin and says, look, you owe me $1,000. It says it in the note. Here's the adim payment. So the lova pays it. Now what happens? According to one opinion, the Malva gives the star to the Lova, and the, usually the Lova will destroy it. The Lova has no interest, Lachura, in keeping the Lova, because the, the worry is maybe he'll lose it, the Malva will pick it up again, and will go to Bezin and, and, and try to collect a second time on the same note. The other approach. No, you have to worry about that because we write a receipt. Receipt is called a shoiber. So the malve holds on to the note, the original star, doesn't give it back to the lova, but he writes a receipt. And the, the, the lova has to hold on to the receipt to say it was paid. So if the malve ever produces the star to invest in again, the lova says, well, here's a shoiber I paid for it. I mean, I paid the note already. So the, but the shoiver requires cost. You know, the, the lova has to go to a soul fair and have a shoiver written. So there's a debate in the, in, in, among the Tanoim, do we require a shoiver or not? Tanakam is a koisvin shoiver. You do write a shoiver. Um, and therefore, therefore, because the Chachanim said, once it's paid, uh, you're putter from carrying out a star because it doesn't have any use. So since the Chachanim wrote, right, because it can't be collected again. So it has no, so the Malva, you know, will not hold on to it. But Rav Yudas over Ein Koisrin So there, there, the, and, and the, since there's no shover, you can't allow the malva to hold on to the star. So the star is given to the lova. The lova is going to hold on to the star. Uh, uh, and he might use it for like to wrap a piece of paper, wrap a perfume bottle. And Ravashi Omar, another reason why the lova might hold on to it. Let's say the lova wants to borrow money from a new bank or a new lender, he can say, hey, look, I'm a good credit risk. Look, I pay, here's a loaf, here's a note that I paid off already. You know, like when, when, when the credit agencies evaluate your credit, they check whether you've paid off notes before and that if you have, that increases your, your credit score. So the same thing, the lover might hold on to it. If he holds on to it, there's a certain use to it and use for him. So therefore he carries it out on Shabbos, it's higher. Rashi has a nice, uh, there's an initial shot, there's a second shot to Rashi, I would explain, that's basically how, how we end up learning this. Then the Gemara says, or could they last us? The Mishnah gave a certain shear regarding how much leather you have to carry to be high. Boy, may Rav Rav Nachman. Motsi or Bekama, person carries leather, how much you have to carry in order to be chayim, Amr lo kedit naan. We learn in the mission, or kedit lasos kameya. You have to carry the amount of leather to make an amulet. Now, what if the hamaabdo become? What if you tanned the leather? Amr le loshna. No difference. The shear is the same. Now laabdo become a.
What if it needs to, it, 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 you carry out something that has not been tanned? Amr le loshna. So lechura, according to the Gemara now, the shear for carrying leather is the same, whether it's tanned or not tanned, whether it's processed or not processed. Umina temra. Where do we see this concept that when you carry out certain material, it makes no difference whether it's prepared fully or not prepared? Kiditnav. Like we learned in the Mishnah. Hamalabin vamenafet vatsovea batove. Somebody who whitens uh, wool or combs it or dyes it or weaves it. She uro kemoli rochabasit kofu. Rochabasit is the space between your index finger and your middle finger. That's called a sit. So it's double that. So it's that sheer, double. The orich nechutin, or you weave two threads, is the same sheer. Kamali rochava sit kofi. Alma kiven delit koi. So whether the thread is, is woven or not woven, the Gemara uses that as an analog, analogous case to our case, just like over there where they have processed or not processed the same shear. Here by leather, it's the same din. And what did we say if it's not tanned? So now, for the Gemara, below Shani, Bain Mu'ubin, Lashena Mu'ubin. Is that true? That there's no difference in shear by leather, whether it's tanned or not tanned? Ismail, I'll, I'll show you with stira from a varaisa. Hamotzi, someone in shuyin. You have herbs or spices that have been soaked. These samonim are used for dyeing purposes. So, if let's say you have herbs that have already been soaked, so they've already been processed to a certain extent. And you carry them on Shabbos. What's the shear? That means enough to dye material enough that would plug up a certain certain body. What about if you start off with the raw seeds or herbs, whatever the samanim are? That have not been soaked. So one is processed, one's not processed. It's non. Shells of walnuts and shells of pomegranate, satit upua. All of these are examples of samamonim. These are material that would use for the dyeing process. What's the shear to carry them to make you chayat? It's enough to dye a hairnet that a woman would wear to cover her head. Which, lechura, that's a bigger shear than the shear of the spices or herbs that were processed. So you see, there is a difference in other things between processed and not processed. Why then, by leather, do we say there's no difference in carrying whether it's processed or not processed? Because a person is not going to waste his time to soak samoni just for this little thing. That's why there's a special din by there. But by leather, it's not so. A person will do, do the same thing whether it's tanned or not tanned. Freight Gemara Varezeroni Gina seeds that you plant in a garden to grow things. The Mikami de Zarinutan, prior to planting them, there's how much shear is there to carry them on Shabbos? Zarino Gina, Pachos Migroid Royce, less than a fig, Marid Vivasero Oimer Hamisha, five seeds. Vilu basur de zarino, after you've planted them, tnan, it says the mission, zevil v'chol adak, fertilizer and thin dirt, k'day l'zadil bo klach 
prove this year that you're gonna be high of, for caring is the amount that it takes you to fertilize a cabbage head, enough to fertilize leeks. So you see, after things are planted, the shear is more choshu. So again, sort of it's different whether you process it or not. So the says, that's, a, that's no problem there, because ha'it merlom, rav papa had the zriya, the lo zriya. The fee, she'en adun terech lo tzi, nima achas lo zriya. Person is not going to, is going to go out and plant something, he's not going to plant something for a little bit. So it's almost the same answer that we said by the Samoni. What about clay? Prior to mixing it, that there's no machlokas if you take out wastewater into Rosh Hashanah and Ravias. The shear that makes you chayv is Ravias. And we said, what do you use wastewater with? And after you mix water with the clay, Tanya Tit Kidelasos Ben Pikur. It's a different shear. It's enough to plug in like a, the mouth of an oven, like a smelter's oven. So how come over there there's a difference between processed and not processed? Person's not going to process this whole clay business just for a little bit. He's gonna so there, that's why over there there's a difference between process and non-process. But by leather, there isn't such a difference. Person will will use this tanned leather, untanned leather for the same thing. It's not a, enough to me whether a person will do it for small reasons or big reasons. And therefore, we remain that there's no difference between the shear of carrying leather prior or not prior to process. Toshma. Come in here, a baraisa, regarding leather. There are three kinds of leather. Matzah, We'll see, matzah is, doesn't have anything. It hasn't been salted. It doesn't have any process. Chipa, we're going to see. It's been salted, but it hasn't been, you know, uh, it hasn't uh, been fully processed. Vidiftera, that's the full process. Matzah kemashmo, delom liach, udelo kemiach, there's no salt, there's no flour, udelo ofits. They used to use gall nuts to process leather. And uh, particularly for rye for parchment. So matzah is completely unprocessed. Kama shear. How much is the shear that you're going to be high for carrying on Shabbos? To cover enough leather to cover a certain uh, uh, weight, small weight. The kama omravaya riva de riva de pumbadisa. One fourth of one fourth is the mida. Is the it was the measurement? Okay, chipa is leather. The meliach below kmiach below office. It's been salted, but no flour put in, and none of this gall nuts. The kamashir, how much is the shear to carry it? Kedit nan, or kedit lasos kamei, which is what we said before, the amount of leather to make an amulet. Diftera is the meliach u kmiach below office. It's been salted and flour has been added, but no gall nuts. The kama shiuro, can they lift over lavas again? Enough to write again. Ketani mias, can they let sorbo mishkolis ketano? Which means it's a, it's different shiurim. I thought you told me leather, whether it make whether it's processed or not processed, it's the same shear. I you showed me here that it's not. Amar Abay a river to river to Pumbedisa. Which is a small amount. So the Gemara says, "Hasam be bishuva." There, we're talking about leather that has not been boiled, and it was been left to dry. And the only thing to do with it is to cover it with cover that that weight with, because there's nothing else to do with it. Otherwise, it's the same shear. Right? More about non. We had this Mishnah before. In order for a garment to acquire tuma, whether tumas medris or tumas mace, there has to be a certain minimum shear. 
Habeged shloish al shloish of tefachim lemedus. Hasak arba arba. Haor chamisha al chamisha. Five by five tefachim. Mapitz a mat shisha al shisha. Bein lemedus bein lemes. The tani alo habeged beasak vaor kashir letuma kashir loitza. That the same shear for Tuma is the same shear for Otsa and Shabbos. So you see, leather that has not been Mu'ubid, that has not been tanned, because that's what we're talking about here, is five Tzvachim. Which, of course, is different than the shear that we got in our Mishnah. Where our answer is Ahuka Kertuvla. Again, this is ore that's been processed. Where, which you can't write on it anymore. And its only purpose is to use to cover things. And it's used like to cover kalim from dirt. So that's why it's a different shear for carrying on Shabbos. But regular leather, we go back to our regular shear of the bush. Okay. Now, because we opened the door to this, we're going to go off on a tangent a little bit and learn about parchment. Cloth, the amount of parchment to carry on Shabbos, Kedei Lichtov Allah Parsha Ketana, which we says Parsha Shema. The Remin will ask you a steer from a Baraisa. Cloth, the Duchsustis, we'll see. Cloth, we're going to see that the hide of the animal was sort of split open. The outer part was called cloth. The inner part was called the chsustis. And we're going to see some things were written on cloth, some things were written on the And the Bryson says, cloth and the the shear for carrying on Shabbos is licht of Allah mezuzah. So how can you tell me that the shear of cloth is parsha ketana? <laughs> we have another Bryson that says it's the shear of mezuzah. So and for the Gemara, my mezuzah, mezuzah should be tefillin. We're talking about the Parsha that's written in Tefillin, which is Parsha Shema. Freight the Gemara, the Koyal of Tefillin Mezuzah, it says Mezuzah. How can you call it Tefillin? Where it says, no. We see other places where Tefillin was referred to as Mezuzah. Where do you see this? Uh, Tanya. And this price is in support. Sometimes the Vahatanya is, a, is, you ask Akasha from Vahatanya. Here, the Vahatanya is Benichusa, is in support. It says, Ritzu is tefillin, ima tefillin. The straps of tefillin that are connected to tefillin, the Thomas is sayadayin. So, Chachamin made a din that if you touched Kisve Kodesh, your hands became tummy. The reason they did that is because people would, would store their truma because their truma was holy in the same places that they stored their documents. Their, their Kisve Kodesh. And by storing food there, the rats came and they would destroy the parchment. So they made a Xera that, it, that if you touch, so therefore you, you can't, you wouldn't store your truma there because your hands would become tome. Mm -hmm. So Ritsuo, and so Tfilin, since there are Kisve Kodesh within Tfilin, Tfilin has the same din that is Matame Sayadai. So the straps of tefillin, as if they're con if they're contiguous with the tefillin, the Thomas they die. If they atzmon, the ritzuos by themselves, ain't the Thomas they die. Rab Shimon ben Yehuda, I'm a mishum Rab Shimon, I'm no yeb ritzuah tohar. Ad sheyiga baktsitsa. He says even if the ritzuos are connected to the tefillin, you can touch the ritzuos. They're not metame. You're not metame until you touch the box, the leather box that holds the tefillin. Rav Zakai Mishmo Omer, Torah He says, even by touching the box of tefillin, you're not tame. You got to actually touch the parchment inside the box. And here, you notice, they refer to the parsha of tefillin as mezuzah. So that's the Baraisa in support of this concept that mezuzahs can be referred to as tefillin. Now the Gemara says like this, 
כדי לכתוב לו פרשה קטנה, שבתפילין שישמע ישראל, but you wanted to answer that the chsustis is right, mezuzah referring to tefillin, not mezuzah, but our Mishnah makes a contrast. It says klaf, the shear to carry klaf is the amount of klaf that it needs to write the parsha of Shema, which is in tefillin. Michlal, the ratio of the mezuzah atzmaskina, must be that the ratio is not talking about mezuzah as tefillin, it's talking about mezuzah, mezuzah. The verse says no. This is how you have to read the mission. Klaf the duchsus the shear in bekam. Klaf and duchsus. What are the shear? Duchsus is kadei lichtav alav mezuzah because you could write mezuzah and duchsus. That's a real mezuzah. Klaf kadei lichtav alav parsha kana shemit fill and shishma yisrael. Okay. And the Rambam says that's the shear, the shear of duchsus is. To carry on Shabbos is the amount that you need to write a mezuzan, and sheer cloth is the is the amount to write Shema Yisrael. Amar Rav, duchsus tesarei keklav. Rav says that halachically, duchsus is like cloth. Ma cloth koyz v'lav tefillin, af duchsus tes koyz v'lav tefillin. So Rav says you can write tefillin on either cloth or duchsus. So Tanan, I'll bring you a Mishnah. It says, Klav, Kedei Lichtov Parshat Tana Shabbat Filin, Shishma Yisrael. And the Gemara is Medayi, Klav in, Duchsustis Lo. So you see, you can't write Filin with Duchsustis. So the Gemara says, Le Mitzvah. That means Le Mitzvah Mena Mufchur, write Filin, write it on Klav. If you don't have Klav, you're allowed to write it on Duchsustis. It's not a riot if you can't write it at all. Toshma, I bring another steer. It says, "Halach l'mosh misinai tefillin al haklav." Tefillin is written on parchment. U mezuzah al duchsustis. And and halacha goes further. Klav the mokum baser. So I told you that. Look at my hands. Imagine that my hands are the hide of the animal. But the hide was split into two. This is. This is the outer, this is facing the outside world. And here, this part of my hand is facing the flesh of the animal. And the hide was split in two. So this is the cloth, this is the duchsus. So the, the cloth is, writ, is written on the inner part. And the duchsus is also written on it, the, the one facing outside. You see that? You, you write the cloth not on the part out here, you write it on the part in here. And also by Duxus, it's written on this part. Okay? Cloth of Mokum Buster, Duxus Mokum Seah, which seems to imply that again, you can't write Tfilin on Duxus. And for the Gemara Le Mitzvah. Again, that's only the Mitzvah and the Mufcha write it on cloth, but you could write it on Duxus. I Batanya Shina Pasu. I, if you do, don't do it the way the halacha says, it's possible. Or it says, that's not going on tefillin, that's going on mezuzah. That means mezuzah dafka has to be written on duchsustas, not on cloth. But tefillin could be written on both. Freik de Gemara v'hatanya shina v'zeo v'zeo pasu. The Baraisa seer seems clearly that if you changed both by mezuzah, both by tefillin, it's possible. Or it says, no, I give a ID a mezuzah. When it says Shina Bazel Bazets, but both talking about Bazes of Ahad, the Sino Aklaf, the Mokum Seyar, because you wrote it on the cloth, not on the inner surface, but you wrote it on the outer surface. Or Inami Adusus Mokum Bos. Or you wrote the you wrote it on the Duxus, but not in the right place. You wrote on the inside as opposed to the outside. The boy say machina bazel bazet anoyi. Or says the Gemara. But there is a machlokes tanoim regarding if you change by tefillin whether it's aser completely. The Tanya, shino v'zeh pasul, but ravach machshem mishum ravach e brachanina, varmila mishum yachu brachanina. So there's machlokes machlokes in the Gemara. There's an Ibai Sim that says the machlokes tanoim regarding that. So just the halacha in the Shulchan Aruch, koyz fin tefillin rakal aklav. You don't write tefillin on on duchsustus. You don't write tefillin on gvil. Well, a cloth coins from the Mokum upon the Tzad Abbasir. 
You don't write the cloth. You don't use the part written on the hair. You're written on the part on the inside part. And being Shina, if you made it, if you change, possible. We, we pask in the same way today. Now, Rav Papa, who says Rav, who said that Duchsus is Kaklav, is the Omar Ketan Be Menashe. He holds like a certain Tana, the Tana Be Menashe. If you wrote Tfilin, on paper or on matlis psula ala klav ala gvil val duchsustis kshema on parchment and gvil is also is is full parchment and al duchsustis which is this half part gvil is when they're connected you don't split into Klaf and Duchsustis. Vil is when they're together. So it's Kshayra. Now, what are we talking about? What, what Kisfei Kodesh are we talking about? Kosva Mai. E Lema Mizuz. Mizuz a Klaf ni Kasvinan. We learned already Mizuz has to be written on Duchsustis. And the love must be written on Matfilin. So here the Gemara wants to say this is like the Tanavir of Nasha that Rav allows Tfilin to be written even on Duchsustis. Frank the Gemara of the we don't write tefillin on, a, on an unseparated piece of high. We write it on cloth. That Baraisa, which said that it's permitted cloth, gvil, and duchsus, is we're talking about a sefer Torah. Says the Shulchan Aruch, sefer Torah, koizman la gvil, You use gvil, which means it's undivided. And you write it on the side which has the hair. We don't write it on gvil anymore. Or you could write on klaf. It's sat upon a klaf You write on klaf, but on the inner surface. Some say if you have klaf that was written not on the inner surface, but on the outer surface, it's also kosher. That's taloch. Let us say that the fine prices supports Ra. That Duchsustus equals Klav. Kayotsu but Tfilin Shibalu. You have Tfilin that got old. The Sefer Torah Shibala. You have a Sefer Torah that got old. So what do you do with it? You bury it? So we say you bury it. Ain oisin mehen mezuzah. You can't go to Sefer Dvarim, find. Parsha Shema and use this for Tillin, use it for Mezuzah, because of a principle, Taima de only Malin Bakoidish the Ain Moiridin. Right? Lefishain Moiridin make Dusha Chamor la Dusha Kal. Safer Torah and Tillin have a higher Kedusha than Mezuzah. And there's a principle in Jewish law that we don't go down, we only go up. Yeah, but that's strange because it's going to go to Seamus. Right? That's, that's because you can't use it for anything else. And so and yeah, for, but, for COVID, you bury it. But, but it's it still it's remain quite inferior. In fact, that's why that, you have to put it in Seamus. I, I, I hear what you're saying. But yep. it's, uh, what, what higher purpose would you have? So we don't have a higher purpose. So therefore, for people not to get in trouble with it, you bury it like we like many. No, it's not as, as the fact that it, it, it's the fact that it remains koidish. I it, it doesn't become when something is shameless. It it's, it doesn't have the shame. It's not a it's not a koidish anymore. It's shameless. No, it's, no, it's not. No, it's put into gniza. You 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 can't. It's done that because we can't. We're going to get in trouble with it. You're going to use it <laughs> on purpose. So it doesn't lose its kedusha. If it lost its kedusha, we could still, you'd be able to. There'd be a, you could use it for a mezuzah, because then it's a malim bakodi. But no, it retains its kedusha, and therefore you you can't use it. It's got to be nignas. It's a good point. It's a good point. But uh, yeah. Rash uh, shulchan aruch, 
Tfilim the same Petor Shabalu. Tfilim the same Shabalu ain't ois and mezuzim in our parshos. Amatimos lakach shein morid mikdushas chamor lakdushas kalu. Taima, however, the Gemara analyzes. The only reason that you couldn't use it is because of the principle of a moridin. Ha moridin oisin. Which, but what about the material that it was written on? Dixiva mai. Lav dixiva duxustus. Didn't you? Must be that the Chiddush here was that these things were written on duxustus, and yet you could use it for mezuzah. If it wasn't for the principle of Mo, the Gemara saying, if it wasn't for the principle of moridin, of Moiridin, the Malin the Kodesh below Moiridin. The Gemara's Havamina was you could have used it. Well, the Gemara is now trying to, Havamina is to say, we're talking about that it was written on Duchsustus, and this is the Messiah to Rav that says Duchsustus is like cloth, that you could write a mezuzah with Duchsustus. Or that you could write it on cloth. Where's his low? The Xivala cloth. This is not uh, written on Duchsus. We're talking about it was written on Klav. Yet it could be used for mezuzah. Frank the Gemara, what do you mean? U mezuzah Klav mi kasvinon? I thought we write mezuzah on Duchsus. It's not on Klav. In. The Gemara says you can write it on Klav. Vatanya. Kasvala Klav al yarvala matlis psuva. That's the Tanakama. That's a mezuzah. Ores of Elozer of Meir hayat koisvala Klav. The Meir Shemishta Meiris. Rav Meir used to write mezuzah on cloth because it lasted longer. Says the Shulchan Aruch, Niskab l'vaskona gemara, sheklaf arayu kibichsustus, umutu lichtov mezuzah af al cloth o al gvil, uklaf shalonu kosher af l'chatchila. So we've learned a lot of practical halacha today, but ksivas sefer Torah, ksivas tefillin, and ksivas mezuzah. And and the source for it, you know, where where we get all of this. And now, now after that answer of the Gemara, Hash to the Osis Lachi. Now that you came to that, the Rav Nami Lo Tema Duchsus Larei Kaklaf Eleima Klaf Areu Duchsustus. You can say because initially Rav compared Duchsustus to Klaf. Here the Gemara is saying, don't say Duchsustus is like Klaf. Say klav is like dusustus. Ma dusustus koyv lav mezuzah. Av klav koyv lav mezuzah. Okay. So tomorrow we will start from here. Dio, how much dio do you have to take to? Yeah. And the early, the way they they tanned the the animals at that time must have been more simpler to use a dusustus than 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 the klav because basically it's much more malleable and you can roll it up when they put it in. Fill it, and then when they put it in the mezuzah. So I don't understand what the why would it be inferior? Why would they not? Call, in other words, it's a, a superior piece of leather for that. No, but Rav, no, but it lasts. The uh, the outer part would would be mishtameris more. Would last long since mezuzah is, to, is put on the outside of your door. It's going to be it's going to be presented yeah, to the external. But, but, but filling it's inside anyway. So so why wouldn't it be? You know. But you see that there was a concept that the cloth was on a higher madrega than this than than the Duchsustus. This 